Welcome to the new Peak SOI Peace and Stability Journal. I'm Colonel Ed Lowe, Deputy Director of Peak SOI. Give me a few minutes to update you on the last three months and introduce shortly the top articles of the new journal. AFRICOM conducted a workshop on women, peace, and security with the main focus on training for conflict-related sexual violence mitigation. Peak SOI hosted the event at Carlisle with over 25 participants of 15 African countries. The final product of this workshop will be a scenario-based handbook that we'll publish shortly. Also with AFRICOM, Peak SOI supported several exercises with subject matter experts. The focus was on transition of UN missions, framework, requirements, and interoperability. The products will help to improve regionally aligned forces with peacekeeping training. Now, I'll shortly introduce you to our new journal. The main article will cover the current discussion about the Afghan National Security Forces. The author, Dr. Mike Spangler, our senior representative from the U.S. State Department, describes his personal view and based upon firsthand experience on how to design the Afghan Security Forces for the future. The second article will highlight key takeaways from the Women, Peace, and Security Conference I mentioned earlier. Dwight Raymond, our expert on protection of civilians, summarizes the event and provides thoughts on a developed scenarios for training. The next article is from Lieutenant Colonel Narisa Yurikami, our Japanese exchange officer, who provides insights on humanitarian relief support operations executed by the Japanese Ground Self-Defense Forces in Haiti. He is, at the moment, currently serving as an instructor for UN peacekeeping missions in Ethiopia. The next article was written by Ariana DeRus, one of our summer interns here at Peak SOI. She studied abroad in Senegal last spring and researched on achieving water security in Senegal, rural and urban water access and sanitation challenges. What is in our schedule for the next three months? PKSY will hold in October its first Peace and Stability Joint Proponent Symposium. Conducted in the National Capital Region, the symposium will bring together key players in peace and stability operations across a myriad of organizations and agencies. It will address critical issues with peace and stability and to identify solutions to these challenges. Thank you very much for your attention. We hope you enjoy reading the journal and let us know what you think. Please don't hesitate to send emails with your comments and help us to improve our peace and stability journal.